I wonder where they are. Maybe I showed up a little bit too early. Well, I guess in the meantime, I mean, it's nice that there's a carnival on me. So I didn't know there was going to be one today, but I mean, it works out. Maybe we could play some games or something. Well, depending on uh, when our reservation is. Oh, hey! I, I. <laughs> um. Oh, wow, okay. No, 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 sorry. I didn't mean for that to come off the wrong way. I was just, um. You, you, you look really good. I just, um. <laughs> that's what I wanted to say, or my mind came across. You look really good. Nah, me, I'm just. I, I, you know. I guess we could, I could have planned better. I just. I just wore whatever was comfortable. I didn't. Um, no, you look really good. <laughs> nah, you look like a, I look like a new sugar baby or something. You're so well dressed, and here I am in a freaking hoodie and in just like jeans. Oh yeah, the carnival. Yeah, no, I didn't know. Did you know there was gonna be one? Yeah, no, same. I didn't really plan on that, but I mean, hey, if it, there is. Uh, let me see what time it is. Where oh, there it is. Okay, I mean, we still have a couple minutes before a reservation. Did you want to maybe play a game or two? Or we could just play a quick one, too. We don't have to play a lot because, actually, we only have, what, like, ten minutes? Okay, yeah. Um... Oh, we'll go to the closest one. We can go... Uh, we can go this one, the balloon one right here. Uh, yeah, let me get me, let's get some darts. Uh, excuse me? Mr. Click person? Well, okay, I know, I know that's not your name, but I don't, I don't know how to refer you, but can I please have, uh, well, let me ask, um, per person, it's five darts, right? Okay, bet. Can I have ten darts, please? Five dollars? Yeah. No, 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 I could pay for this one, it's fine, it's fine. No worries. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Have you ever thrown darts before? You have. Okay. Bet. Um. So. Okay. Well, let's just get <laughs> let's just get at it then. Okay. I haven't done this in a while. I kind of suck. <laughs> um. Oh, nice! You got one! Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey! You know, actually, I'm not doing that as bad as I thought. I'm not doing it as bad as I thought. Okay. Another one. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go! I win a prize! Look, I know, you know, good luck next time, you know. I got one out of four. You got three out of or the other way around. I got four out of one. You got three out of <laughs> You got three out of two. It's okay, it's okay. Not everyone can do as good as me. Uh oh yeah, prize. Um Uh can I have Can I have the green teddy bear? Yeah. Bet, thank you. Yo, let's go. <laughs> this is actually kind of adorable. Um, wait, let me see what time it is again. Okay, yeah, let's start heading towards the uh, the restaurant. It's literally just like ten steps away from here, so let's watch uh, walk over. Um, no, but that was <laughs> look at the teddy bear I got. <laughs> okay, shut the fuck up. Don't you freaking? You can't. I'm not even that small. You can't just be like. Oh, just cute as adorable as you. That's not. Shut the hell up. But I like it. Um, I'm glad I brought the bag so I could put it in here. Oh, by the way, I never did ask. Are you okay with the um, with the sushi restaurant I chose? Okay, bad. No, I just want to make sure because it's my favorite food. So I just want to make. I didn't know if it was your favorite food, uh, or maybe not your favorite food. But I just want to make sure you liked it more than anything else. Um, if not, I mean, they tend to have more, like, uh, like, grilled stuff. You, it's not only sushi. There's a bunch of other stuff you could go, but uh, this is one of my favorite restaurants. It's so freaking good. It's so, so good. I'm sure you like it. 
Speak of the devil. Well, here you are. Oh, thank you for opening the door. Um, I'm sure you like the restaurant. Uh, there's all quite a wide selection of different foods, honestly. It's, oh, yeah, I, especially, uh, have you ever had kimchi? Uh, kimchi is so good. I love kimchi. It's, I haven't had it in a while, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, but let me ask the, oh yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I do, I do have a, I do have a reservation. Uh, the reservation's under Alex? Okay, bet. Okay, um, yeah, let's go to our table. Yeah, no, this works perfectly. Thank you. Okay. What do you think so far? You're liking it? I'm glad to hear so. I don't know, I thought maybe I bad, made a bad selection. I even asked what food you liked. So I'm glad you, uh, you're liking the Amiens so far. Um, Oh, yeah, no, feel free to ask what you like. Don't feel like I'm holding you back or anything like that from anything. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Out of all the names you've called me, which one do I like the most? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's a couple different ones I think I like. Uh... I guess <laughs> like pretty boy, baby boy. I don't know. I honestly like all of them. I am I am the I am a fat, uh, fan of pet names. I know I like I'm in denial and all that, but I'm I'm quite the fan of pet names. At least I like them a lot. Also, um, I already I already know what I'm gonna order. Uh, do you know what you're gonna order? I mean, I've come here so often, honestly, that I just kind of know like the back of my hand. You know, I'm gonna get a spicy tuna spicy salmon um i'm gonna get some kimchi and i'll probably go off that and see how i feel after i eat that oh no yeah take your time take your time sorry i didn't mean to pressure you yeah no like i said I i'm an open book you just gotta read it feel free to ask as many questions as you like well only if i get to ask questions back okay bet uh, do you play video games, by the way? Oh, hey. No, that's fair. I, I mean, as for me, I do play a lot of video games. Um, uh, have I ever played Genshin? Um, I have not. I know I use a lot, so you know what I do for work, right? Okay, yeah, so, yeah, a lot of my ASMR stuff I use, uh, like, Genshin Impact characters, mainly, like, Venti. Um, I've always wanted to play the game, but then, like, I feel like it's such a grindy game. I feel like I wouldn't have the time for it, because I just, I don't know. I don't like grindy games just because you have to dedicate so much time to it. I mean, I've always wanted to try it, but I just don't know if I would be able to get into it, honestly. Um... Which I guess actually goes into my next part is like that's kind of how I got into uh, my work of YouTubing. Um, I just, well, I wouldn't call it just VTubing. I guess I'm technically a voice actor slash VTuber. Um, uh, I got laid off a couple months ago, then got hired, and then got laid off a week after again because the company, I guess, wasn't doing so well. Um, well, both companies weren't. And I, you know, I was like, by that point, I was like starting to make a little bit of money. Not enough to survive, but I was starting to make a little bit of money. So I was like, you know what? Budget. Let me dedicate my full time into this. So that's kind of how I got into VTubing and dedicated more time. Um, I mean, really, it was a, a lot of friends. Um, you probably don't know them, but it was, um, it was Pep and Lena that are in my discord that like really pushed me to do like uh vtubing or streaming because i was mainly just gonna do youtube at first uh that's a good question um i don't know where i would be if i was if i didn't do this full time now i mean i'd probably be looking for some type of job i don't know what i'd be doing but i'd be doing something not sure what but i would be doing something but i mean Hey, life is fluid. What I might be doing right now, I might be completely different a year. 
in a year from now I might be, I don't know, doing something completely different. The world's a very fluid place and you just gotta go with the flow. Oh wait, uh, question. Well, my, oh, never mind. I guess we're ordering. Hello. Um, yeah, yeah. Are, are you ready to order? Okay, perfect. Um, I'll have a spicy tuna and a spicy salmon roll as well. Can I have a kimchi as an appetizer? Okay. Uh, what are you going to have? Perfect. Those, those are good options. Um, I might steal from some from you, just warning. Oh, any uh, drinks? Um, can I have a... Uh, actually, can I just have water? Yeah, bottled water is fine. You? Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, so back to my question. You have, you've watched anime, right? Okay, just making sure. Some people don't know what anime is. Um, what is your favorite anime, movie, and game? Video game. Okay. Yeah, no, those are pretty good. I like those. Um, I'm quite the fan of them. Uh, oh, as for me, uh, um, I think anime, there's one called Blast of Tempest. I think that's one of my favorites. It's really underrated, not a common anime. It has two seasons. Um, I really like the juxtaposition of the music that, you know, is implemented. It's, um, Oh my, the classical music, Beethoven stuff. Um, the way they use it in the anime is so good. And, like, there's such a plot twist in the anime that it just, like, it just blows my mind. Um, as for the movie, Inception, I just, I just, I mean, at this point, I, I just, I really like psychological thrillers or things that are just, like, uh, like, they will, like, you didn't expect, like, well, that will kind of blow your mind. As for a game, uh, I think it might be Bloodborne. Um, I wish they made a remake of it, but Bloodborne, I think. I just really like the lore of it. Out of all the Souls-like games I've ever played, Bloodborne is easily the best, and I've completed that game like eight times now. It's it's just so good. The combat's so fluid. The music, especially the fucking music. Um, the endings are really good. I, I just really like the lore. It's so, 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 so rich. Yeah, no, I would really recommend playing it if you haven't. Um, I know they haven't remade it to any of, like, well, I guess other than PS5, but I would really recommend trying it. It's really, really good. Uh, yeah, what's up? Oh, yeah, we can go back to what I, the ASMR. Uh, what made me want to start all that? I mean, I mean, honestly, nothing in particular motivated me to start that. It would be more that... I just kind of did it as a fluke. I used to listen to ASMR a lot as a way to just kind of cope and just, you know, feel better and all that. Um, and I guess this is a really messed up way of saying it, but not feel as lonely. I mean, I don't really feel like that anymore. I still occasionally do listen to ASMR if I'm having like a particularly like rough day or something like that. I tend to enjoy the ones where it's kind of like um, as you're going to sleep. Or I tend to listen to them at night when I'm going to bed. It's kind of like how someone will like relax you and just call you, oh, you know, you're being down, <laughs> you're being such a good boy and stuff like that, you know. Um, but I mean, no, that's kind of how I got into it, and I kind of did it as a fluke. My first ever video, because a friend uh, really motivated me to do so, and it did well. And then I did a second one. That one also did well, and well, here we are now, doing what we're doing. Huh. I mean, something I would like to do in the future. I mean, I don't, I still want to try, I do want to try getting into Dame ASMR, see if maybe that's something up my alley. I would also like to start a gaming channel because a big problem with like gay ASMR is that it, especially femboy ASMR, right, it's really, really niche, extremely niche. So I want to try to expand my horizons a little bit or maybe focus more on Twitch streaming slash video games, is at least what I'm hoping for. But I mean, time will tell. Uh, I was also gonna. Oh, thank you for the kimchi. Uh, can it? Actually, I'll just take the fork. Yeah, it's fine. I was gonna ask for chopsticks, but I'm okay with either. Okay. 
Mm. It's, oh gosh, I fucking love kimchi. It's so good. Do you want to taste? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. What do you think? Right? Isn't it so fucking good? Uh, uh, I'm gonna drink some water too, though. I can get a little bit spicy. I'm glad she uh, brought the, water, the drinks with the kimchi. Um, but So I was gonna ask you too, what's your uh, favorite genre of uh, music? Or band? Or really any type of song, music, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest, I've never heard of those. But <laughs> I'm sure they're good. I mean, for me, I don't really listen to like a specific song or like a band. For my genre of music, I just listen to funk. Or specifically aggressive funk. Because um, I just really like that type of music or like party music it just depends on what the mood is but if i'm usually like uh i'm usually in a like aggressive mood i'll play aggressive funk if i'm feeling if i'm vibing i'll play more party music your turn uh okay yeah go for it oh that's the easy one favorite color uh probably like a light green or a light blue basically like any pastel colors like are kind of my favorite oh <laughs> my plushies um, yeah, no, you do remember from when you saw them, how my plushies break out of the bag. Uh, if I need to wanted a plushie, um, I think I need, like, a bear plushie. I don't really have a bear plushie, so a bear plushie of some sort. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool. Or, like, a plushie of my VTuber character would also be kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> that one, uh, that one's also kind of easy. I mean, it's not as complex as you think it, it, it is. The reason, or how I came up with my name is uh or at least my channel name is i like polka dots so dotty and i really like the word scarlet not the color itself but like i just like the way scarlet sounds so i was like dotty scarlet and i was trying to figure out i think i was playing an mmo and you know how like name you have to figure out a name and every single one of them is always taken that's how i figured it out uh actually i want to ask you uh oh Thank you. Let me just move over. Make some space here. Uh, thank you. Um, do you think do you have wasabi by any chance? You do. Perfect. If could I have some wasabi? Or actually, let me ask. Is it additional? Okay. Yeah, dollar. That's fine. I'll take some wasabi, please. Um, as well. Uh, do you need anything else? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Just the wasabi. Thank you. Oh my god, this looks so good. I mean, what you ordered looks pretty good too. Don't get me wrong, but I just, uh, excuse my French, but I am a slut for sushi. Um, but okay, going back to the, oh yeah, thank you for the wasabi. <laughs> thank you. Um, sorry, I keep getting interrupted. What I like to do is mix the wasabi and soy sauce together, and it just has, oh, it's so good. Um, sorry, don't think I'm weird. But yeah, so I want to ask you is, this is really important to me. How do you like your wings? Do you prefer flats or drum? And do you actually consider boneless wings actual chicken wings? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, you passed my test. I mean, I'll be honest, there is no right answer. I prefer, I'm okay with either one of them. I have no really, I have no preference to be honest. I just, well actually no, I guess. I, I think I would prefer drum chicken wings, but if they're flat, I'm not against it. Um, as for boneless chicken wings, uh, I mean, technically they're chicken nuggets, but I think what makes some considered wings is the sauce itself, I want to say. Um, at least that's the way I look at it. But, I mean, it, for me it depends on at least, uh, like, what I pick for boneless or boned is if I'm at home or if I'm out. If I'm out and about at a restaurant, I hate getting my hands, like, all dirty, so I'll do boneless. Well, if I'm at home, I have no preference. Yeah, I just, I don't like getting my hands, like, dirty while I'm eating at the restaurant. Like, I, I like to be cleanly, if that makes sense. It does? Okay, perfect. Uh, I just wanted to make sure more than anything else. Um, and, oh yeah, you know, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yes. My voice is, I guess you would consider it more on the feminine side. It's, uh, because I did voice training a while back. Um, how I got into it, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to make, I was actually looking to do a more androgynous sounding voice. 
which is, I guess it just depends on like the way I'm talking at the moment, is how I sound. I think I did an okay job. I mean, a lot of people seem to love my voice, so I mean, if it works, it works, right? Uh, why pick something that isn't broken? I used to really dislike my voice, but now I, I'm okay with it, or I like it. I have no really preference right now. Uh, but that's basically how I got into it. I mean, it's it's a bit of a lengthy process. It took me about a year or so, but um, but yeah, that's how I came to it. Do I do any sports? I do not do any sports. Um, well, not anymore, at least, because I, I tore my ACL along a while back, and I haven't had surgery to basically get it redone, if you would put it. Um, and since, I mean, since there's no blood flow that goes to the ACL, you can't really heal it. You need surgery for it. And since it's like it, it's gone, there's, it can't really get any worse other than, I guess, hurting other ligaments. Um, do I want to get surgery? Uh, I wouldn't mind surgery. The biggest problem for it is just that I've had the surgery before because this is actually my second time tearing my ACL. And you basically have to be in bed for like six months straight. Like you can't do anything by yourself. And it's, it's rough. It is rough to say the least. But at least that's kind of like how, uh, how the progress is. Um, like I would like to, but at the same time, it's just like there's a lot of work there and a lot of money involved which at this point in my life, I want to, but at the same time, I don't know, I can't be that inactive for that amount of long, or that time. Um, I mean, I guess technically I could still work out, but I actually like my slimmer physique compared to when I was bulky, because before I used to, like when I really did sports, I used to weigh like 180 pounds, it was like pure muscle. Now I'm just like, not muscle, pure just skin and bones. <laughs> But, um, but actually, I like my slimmer physique a little bit, um, to be honest, compared to my uh, bulkier look. Which, uh, by the way, side note, this sushi is so good. I'm almost done, though. I wish I, I might order more. It's just so good. Uh, how are you liking your food? That's good. Uh, do you want to have? Do you want to try some of mine? Okay, yeah, yeah. Here, have some. You don't have to share with the wasabi, though. The wasabi can be too much for most people, I'd argue. Uh, yeah, I'll take some of yours. Mm. Okay, yeah, yours is yours is pretty good, too. That's really good. I like the taste. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> am I a top or a bottom? Uh, well, technically, I'm a switch. I'm just saying I've taken tests. Just saying. Um, and I don't know, like, uh, wow, these from a non serious question to a serious question. Interesting uh, dynamic you have there. Um, but what's my dream job? I mean, my dream job would be, I don't know. I, I think right now I'm pretty happy with how Twitch and YouTube are going and I hope I could do it full time at some point because something I've always struggled with other jobs is like I hate working for someone when I'm not really getting anything out of it like here I'm okay with working 10 plus hours but the difference is that I'm the one doing it for myself and also the fact that I just really enjoy it too so that I mean that makes a huge difference so I think it would be something like this I would argue or maybe like my own business um, uh, what do I look for in a significant other um, I don't know someone that meshes well with me I mean someone who can take care of me and I can take care of them you know where we help with each other's weaknesses right so like me I have a really bad habit of just forgetting to eat because I don't really get hungry <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And not because, like, I have, like, a problem. I just literally forget to eat. Um, I actually was talking about this in my Discord the other day where the problem is, like, a while back, I just kind of had to stop eating a little bit because, you know, money. Uh, and I, like, I guess this is the current theory, at least. Uh, my stomach got really small. So because it got small, I don't really get hungry, and it creates a chain reaction of me never eating, and then my stomach stays small, if that makes sense. But at least that's currently uh, things like that, right? So like having someone to remind me to help to eat, um, or like me helping them with whatever they may need, whatever. Um, 
at least the way I look at it. And would I want more dogs? Probably not, honestly. Even two dogs is too much. I think I'd be happy with one dog. Two dogs is a little bit too much. Anything more than two, I don't think I could do it. At least that's my opinion on that. Uh, do you have any dogs? Okay. No, I mean, I think that's a fair answer. It's, I mean, I know not everyone can have dogs. Uh, so, I mean, their hearts take care of, and then, you know, a lot of responsibilities can be hard. Like, if you're working all day at your job, you can't really, it's hard to take care of a dog. Maybe, like, a cat would be better, but I completely get that. Uh, but now, time for my question. Are you seeing anyone? <laughs> Asking for a friend? Well, it's not like I'm jealous or anything. I'm just kind of curious. Okay, maybe a little bit. Maybe just a tiny bit jelly. You're not? Oh, okay, bet. Myself? I am not, no. I'm not talking to uh, anyone at the moment. Um, I mean, even if I would, I don't, like, I feel like a lot of the people I know are long distance, and I just, I don't do long distance. I've just kind of given up on the idea of doing so. Um, yeah, because I live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> not that it, that gets any better, but yeah. Um... What's my past like? I mean, I think it's like everyone's. Uh, I don't think there's anything too, too specific about it. I think there's ups and downs. You know, my childhood was, I say, okay. Once I kind of started maybe realizing my sexuality, I then realized it was a little bit more complicated than that. And I had my bumpy roads with my parents. Like, there's at one point they almost threw me out. Um, like, I, I wouldn't say like on the verge of, but like they, they hovered it around me. And I'm just like, okay. Um, after a while, and I mean a while, a while, things got better. Um, you know, I got laid off a, a while ago, a couple months ago, so I had to move in with them, and they haven't really had any issues. Um, they've been somewhat supportive, like whenever, uh, you know, there's like I hovered the idea of maybe going to the Pride Parade, uh, and where I was, and they like, oh yeah, you know, I'll, I'll bring you there. And I'm like, okay, I never went, but it was just like the idea that they would like bring me there is, it was very nice. So, I mean, it's, it's a work in progress, but just like anyone in life, you have your ups and downs. My ideal date, I mean, my ideal date is something like this. I think it would be like dinner. Uh, Cause I don't really, I don't know, I'm just not really crazy about movie stuff because like if I go to the movie, I'm kind of, I'm going there to really watch the movie and I kind of just tend to zone everything out and we don't really get to talk or get to know each other better, right? Uh, so for me, it's somewhere more I can interact with you, whether that be maybe going to like an arcade or like, you know, going out to E or even the carnival outside, like just playing games like that. I think that'd be, that's kind of more up my alley. Uh, basically just spending time with you. That's like, we actually get to know each other better. And how prone am I to crying? Um, I mean, it just depends. Depends on the day. Uh, depends on, like, how much, like, I slept, if I got enough hours of sleep. It just depends. There's so many factors to it, but I don't think I am. But there's periods in time where I was, like, crying almost every day. But right now, I haven't cried at as, as of late. So it just depends, I would argue. And what kind of <laughs> lighting do I like? Uh, well, I mean, the lighting I like is, yeah, I think for me it's dim low lighting. Um, I like like darker blues at night. Um, I don't really like anything too too bright. That's just kind of it sets a nice ambiance. So like a nice like warm brown or warmer colors. That's kind of right up my alley. And my love languages. I do know my love languages. One is physical touch or physical like affection. And then, uh, basically, like, words. I, I forgot the term for that one, but, like, just, like, knowing how much someone, like, maybe loves me, or, like, <laughs> this probably would have a, a priest kink, but, like, like, how good I've been doing, things like that. And it's just really, like, knowing that, like, you know, because I think a big problem of mine is my fear is being forgotten. And I know for me that is, like, a big, big issue. It's always been kind of thing, um, just because of things that's happened throughout my life. Um, so the idea that, uh, the, like, knowing I'm on your mind really, really helps me out. At least for me. How about yourself? What's, uh, what's your l love language like? Ah, okay, okay. 
I mean, hey, everyone has their different ways of going stuff, so I, I completely understand that. But uh, yeah. Um, also, how close are you to done finishing your food? Okay. Did you want me to order the check now, or do you still want to wait? Okay, yeah, I could order the check now. Um. Uh, miss. Yeah, could I have the check, please? Uh, no, no dessert, please. Uh, did, well, did you want dessert? No, okay, yeah. If we could have the check, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, that was really good. Did you enjoy, uh, did you enjoy your food? Bad. What can I say? I know how to pick them, right? Uh, but that was good. Uh, now, I don't know how if you know what this means, mal del porco. It's when after you eat, you get like sleepy and stuff. In Spanish, um, the direct definition or the direct translation is like bad pig, <laughs> but I don't think it doesn't really work the same way, um, or it doesn't make sense if you try to directly translate after and into English. But uh, I'm gonna need an app later. I wanted to ask. Uh, so I did want dessert, but not from here because the upcharge it. A little bit so there's an ice cream place on the street uh, do you want to go get some ice cream there okay yeah no bet that would be perfect then and okay thank you uh here let's figure this out first um i'm gonna leave a 20 percent if the service was good yep 22 okay perfect yeah, i mean yeah i thought the service was pretty good okay Uh, miss, whenever you're ready. Here you go. Uh, I just left it in cash. Okay, perfect. So if you left it in cash too, then we can get the fudge out of here. Let's go. Vamanos. Let's go. We're going on adventures. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, you had one more. Yeah, no, go ahead. Ask your last question. <laughs> Wait, why am I so darn cute? Uh, I don't know, just shut the, shut up, let's get out of here, let's get ice cream, <laughs> shut up, you dumb twat, okay, uh, ice cream, wait, uh, did you want to get ice cream, you don't have to, you did, okay, perfect, alright, yeah, let's get some then, 